Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. May your attention please, we inform all passengers that we are arriving to Olbia Port. All passengers are invited to leave. Sardinia! After a very unsuccessful attempt in Genoa, I didn't really want to stay there. Um, so I improvised and took a ferry from Livorno to Olbia, uh, Sardinia on the same day. Sardinia is in a good direction towards Palermo, from where it's very short sailing to Tunis. And that makes it very cheap, especially when you are losing your money on a return ticket, which you must buy just because of an immigration. I had to kill some time before checking into the Airbnb and decided to check out the trans Euro Trail section, which runs from the north coast all the way south uh, for me to Siniscola, where I had my accommodation. The section I rode from the trans Euro Trail is very simple. Most of it is tarmac in the north with the good gravel roads and some hill and some stone here and there. Apparently, I turned off, I have been told, just before it gets interesting. But hey, in Sardinia, one can take any road and it will always be good. This time I didn't come to explore though. Um, I had to prepare all the paperwork for another attempt to cross to Tunisia and I had to finish my work as well. One small exception was to explore the Arco de Suta Terra. Okay, well, that was the Arco de Suta Terrani. Suta Terrani, no idea what that means, but effectively it's bad road. It starts in uh, Cale Gononi and you go up and it's quite asphalt and all okay. And then as you go through the valley up, climb up, uh, it gradually gets interesting. And it, it is really nice, uh, probably doable on any bike, to be honest. Um, it's just that there are a few sections which have uh, a deep uh, stones like that. Um, so you have to navigate that. Uh, um, but other than that, uh, really no problems. Now I'm gonna go down there, and uh, that some looks quite interesting. It uh, drops quite significantly in few um, hairpins, so let's see how it goes. So far, so good. Definitely was the trip. This definitely looks like hiking trail. To be honest. Shit. Really? Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, definitely a trail for hikers, not for the bikes. I do apologize to everyone. Uh, probably better research next time. Okay, I would not recommend doing it this way up. So the whole morning I've been trying to do the research and figure out what uh, I need to have in order to enter Tunisia for the fourth time, uh, fourth attempt. And it doesn't really help that if you call or if you email the uh, Italian ferry operators, they will either reply to you to check the website um, and send the same link which you sent to them or they will tell you on a call that you need to check the website. So they are not able to confirm that booking.com is actually banned, um, <laughs> which is which is fun. Uh, now, Italy, the whole problem is on the Italian side. The Tunisian side and Tunisian requirements are fine. The ferries from France are operating normally. So it's only Italians uh, who um, have banned uh, tourists leaving to Tunisia till 15th of March. Uh, unless you have reasons like work or property or um, spouse or something. So I'm trying to figure out the paperwork basically. And off we go. Uh, goodbye little flat. Yeah, it was really really nice little farm in here. There's chickens, there's mountains, there's everything. You have to love it. And the lemons are really cool. So um, the Tunisia attempt number two, uh, the real one, starts now. Um, jumping on a bike, going down to Cagliari and uh, Cagliari, I think, um, to um, catch the ferry at 5 to Palermo and from Palermo uh, 15 to Tunisia. There's nothing better than a little river crossing in the morning. <laughs> 
very unique to Sardinia and very cool are the Nuragi sites and Nuragi culture in there. On the way down to Cagliari I just made sure that I checked out one of the most famous one which is the Sunuraxi. Cagliari or Cagliari. Well, this is how hopeful I am to get to Tunisia uh, shopping for a swimsuit. I lose them so much. And uh, energy where Gail was good on the rally as well. I'm not entirely sure, but maybe I got this special pizza, um, Taglio Sarde, uh, which is only in Sardinia. Maybe. And ta da! And this is what 13 euros and 59 cents can get you in the post-covid slash in covid um age it used to be really expensive to have a cabin and jackson told me it is not why are you campaign and i listened to other travelers and uh, tried it and it is officially the cheapest accommodation in Italy uh, considering what it is and that it costs 13 euros and you get all that and it's exclusive use because of COVID so <laughs> Palermo looking for an open bar uh, bar meaning that they have coffee and croissants and uh, something like like this seriously I didn't think that there's gonna be anything open at 6 <laughs> and there is fresh croissant coffee and this wonderful establishment where the guy looks like well Italian guy who woke up very early and cooked a lot of food. Autorizati, and uh, that lot means that I'm not autorizati. <laughs> okay, this is getting be interesting. knew what they're doing today was really early start as well with the off-roading and with everything pretty tired but the paperwork is sorted for tomorrow well not tomorrow well yeah um, and um, I have laid out everything on the bed so this is all what you need the lady from the hostel was really nice and, and actually um, printed everything for me so the last thing tomorrow is the um, antigen and that's just around the corner she said so that should be pretty easy so let's look what I need so this is my um, travel insurance which uh, you don't need but you want to have this is my written booking with the Grimaldi this is a hotel proper hotel booking in Tunis with the Revolut statement that I paid it this is my work contract. This is the uh, form which Tunisians want you to fill in. This is called locator form or whatever. This is gonna be my antigen test. This is my um, booster and this is my vaccination completed. And that should be everything um, required to get on the ferry and to um, be allowed to Tunisia. Now I need lunch and wine. So unfortunately, apparently overnight somebody checked out the bike and they really liked my double take mirrors, uh, which are gone. And what's even saddest is my um, 
drum controller holder, which I so diff it was so difficult to put it together. Uh, everything else is on the bike, um, but yeah, this this is missing, unfortunately. So the new mission today is to find the mirrors. I have been in Yamaha, and uh, they don't really have anything. Uh, they only have the original ones for 50 euros, which I think we can get something cheaper. So I asked around and on Instagram I also get some suggestions and everybody says Oasi Moto for the cheap, 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 cheap stuff. And um, so that's where we're heading. It should be somewhere around here. Uh, yeah, I think that, <laughs> considering how many bikes is here, I think that's it. So I am in an Oasi Moto where they found um, a set of mirrors for 24 euros. It's really busy around here. A lot of bikers come here. Uh, the street is busy with the motorcycles and scooters. And the guys in there are really, really nice. So let's put these bad boys uh, on instead of the double tape mirrors. Let's see how it looks. Okay, this is quite funny because I have Suzuki Burgman <laughs> mirror on the Yamaha. Sorry, baby. Uh, I know this is a little bit of a, you know, Emergency situation, let's say. This way, uh, uh, second ship right. Second ship right. Grazie mille. Okay. Uh -huh, sì. Rotonda. Rotonda. A destra c'è un viale che ti porta dall'altra parte, dietro questa nave. E Grimaldi Tunisia. Si deve fare il giro a rotonda con tre piste sulla destra, dove sta prendendo quella macchina. No, è della reservation. Eh. Il topic for the ticket the boarding pass. Ticket. It's not boarding pass, the only reservation. No, 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 no. It's impossible. You get off it, on top. Okay, that's uh, interesting. Screw up. So I missed the check-in, which is in here. So I should have saved a lot of time if this doesn't work. So let's see. Okay, so... Check-in. I have the boarding passes! <laughs> <laughs> you don't speak Italian? No, oh, I'm sorry. On the sea, pray go and go and join This was a very long night and very long two weeks to make it here. Now let's find a cabin and hit the bed really. Yeah. What an even number is. Okay, let's try this. Please. Okay. Wonderful. 